हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल्स इन्वॉल्विंग फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट फंक्शन राइट सो हियर विल सॉल्व दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटीग्रल वेर वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू हंड्रेड एंड द इंटीग्रेंट इज फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ एक्स प्लस थर्टी राइट सो हियर विल यूज सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Uh, fractional part function and greatest integer function uh, to uh, simplify this integral and then uh, we can uh, reduce this uh, integral to a simple form right so let us uh, start now let us first call this integral as i right now see here our uh, uh, integrand is a fractional part of x plus 30 right so let us take f of x as uh, a uh, fractional part of x plus 30 right now uh, let us recall the relationship between a uh, fractional part function and greatest integer function right see we know that fractional part of x is defined like this x minus greatest integer of x right so this is the uh, definition of a uh, fractional part of x right so here if we apply this definition to uh, this function f of x then we see that for x we have x plus 30 right so now we can write uh, this fractional part of x plus 30 as x plus 30 uh, for this x and minus the greatest integer of x plus 30 right now see here we have greatest integer of x plus 30 now let us apply uh, one important property of greatest integer function so the property goes like this that is uh, uh, the fractional part of uh, the greatest integer of x plus n can be written as the greatest integer of x plus n right where this n belongs to the set of integers right so whenever we have greatest integer of x plus some integer then we can write this term as greatest integer of x plus the integer right so here uh, we see that we have 30 as the integer right so n is uh, 30 so we can now write x plus 30 and here we can write greatest integer of x plus uh, 30 right because here we have n so now uh, this is x plus 30 minus greatest integer of x and minus 30 right so this 30 and this 30 get cancelled so we are left with x minus greatest integer of x right and c x minus greatest integer of x is uh, fractional part of x right so we have here the fractional part of x so we have arrived at the conclusion that this term that is f of x is equal to fractional part of x plus 30 is simply equal to fractional part of x right so now our integral becomes i is equal to uh, 0 to 100 and fractional part of x plus 30 can be replaced by simply the fractional part of x right so now we have to evaluate uh, this integral right now see here uh, we will now uh, make use of uh, one direct result see if we have an integral of this type that is 0 to m and fractional part of x right where this m that is the upper limit belongs to the uh, set of natural numbers right so when we have 0 to m fractional part of x then the direct result for these type of integrals is simply m divided by 2 right so here uh, the value of m is 100 and this integral is similar to this one so the direct value of this integral is m over 2 that is 100 over 2 that is 50 right so the value of this integral uh, i is equal to uh, 50 right so viewers this is how by making use of the definition of fractional part function and the property of uh, greatest integer function 
uh, we can uh, find out the values of these type of uh, integrals.